well, welcome back to Geeky Universe's gameplay update. Two week hiatus, holidays, new year, technically a holiday. That's all I got. That's where we've been. After a couple of weeks, here we go. Last Monday at CES, Valve released a list of 14 partners that created the Steam Machine PCs we gamers were going to buy. Alienware, Cyberpower PC, Origin PC, Falcon Northwest, and Zotac are among the list of partners. With the range of partners also comes various sizes of the machine. Good. I'm sure there won't be a single problem actually. Now that I think about it, I'm sure that'll be just fine. What is about as long as the iPhone? It's tiny! This. That's how big that machine is. Great. Now, before you go running out to buy one of these living room PCs, you might want to wait. Along with who made them and what they look like, they also release price points <sighs> for the machines. The cheapest so far is starting out at about $499. <laughs> Well, the most amount of money you can spend, oh god, is around $6,000. I didn't misspeak, I didn't misread, I didn't misinform, I said $6,000. While there's no release date yet for any of these machines, they are expected to come out soon. Not in my loop. <laughs> I don't think so. My Steam machine? It's my computer. Oh, anyway. Santa Claus was busy last year. Okay, if you believe in that kind of thing, if you believe in that kind of thing. Microsoft announced that they sold over three million Xbox Ones in the first month and a half it was on the market. This is not including any other countries or territories that the Xbox One has not been released in yet. I'm sure they wouldn't have made that number if they're selling machines for $6,000. $6,000! Seriously? Oh, who's gonna buy that thing? I wanna meet the person and punch him in the face for being so rich and not spending that money on Geeky Universe. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Or donate it so we can check it out. Get us one copy of each, one of each, between $500 and $6,000, and we'll test them and we'll let you know what the differences are. Find that rich person and pay Mike and then tell him to pay me for doing these and pay Mike for editing them and pay Ian for writing them and pay Mike for editing them and pay Mike and pay Mike and pay Mike and pay Mike. And pay Mike. I just realized I don't need this. Next. With the impending release of the newest Super Smash Bros., game director Masahiro Sakurai mentioned that the game will bring with it trophy collection like the Super Smash Bros. Melee for the GameCube. If you happen to get a copy of the game for your 3DS and Wii U, then you will notice the trophies are a little bit different. Uh, the 3DS will feature trophies based around the handheld system, while the Wii U version will have console-based trophies. I wonder if there will be a trophy for the guy who buys a $6,000 out-of-the-box gaming PC for his living room. If that guy gets a trophy in the new Smash Brothers game, he needs to donate to Geeky Universe. And maybe Hungry Children. Well, that's your gameplay update for today. And by today, I mean this week. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for listening to me on the mic. That's not even... It's connected, but it's not even hooked up to the... Hello? Hello? $6,000?! $6,000?! We'll see you next week.